So welcome to the Godly Playroom. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Happy Easter. It felt like it would never get here, but here we are. And when we look, We have entered into this mystery of Easter, and so when we look at the clock on the wall, we see the arrow is pointing to that first week in that section of white and gold, the colors of celebration. And we are reminded that everything has changed. And we, in this mystery of Easter, when everything changes and our colors have changed as well, Sometimes we celebrate Easter with the color white and sometimes with the color gold. I wonder how you celebrate Easter. One of the things we also like to do is to sing. And there's a song that goes with this. So I'm going to snap and tap and give a big clap. Because Jesus is alive. I'm going to snap and tap and give a big clap. Because Jesus is alive. I'm going to blink my eyes and jump so high. Because Jesus is alive. I'm going to take my hands and wave them round. Because death could not keep Jesus down. I'm going to sing and shout and yell right out. Because Jesus is alive. Let's see if I can figure out how to sing it after a whole year. I'm gonna snap and tap and give a big clap, cause Jesus is alive. I'm gonna blink my eyes and jump so high, cause Jesus is alive. I'm gonna take my hands and wave them round, cause death could not keep Jesus down. I'm gonna sing and shout and yell right out, Jesus is alive. I wonder what makes you sing and shout and yell right out these days. Perhaps it's a chance to be off school for a whole week and just to relax and unwind away from the screen or the camera or the books. Perhaps it was a good feast with your family. I wonder what you need today to help you settle into this time of story and wondering together. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer so that we can get things ready here. And you might take the time to find a candle to light on your own, or to find something for your feast or your response. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Well, it is so good to be together again. Huh. And look, we are in the season of Easter. Everything has changed, even our candle. It's brand new. Hmm. And so we remember where we put things is a good thing. But we remember that once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And the more they followed him, the more they wondered who he was. And one time when they asked him, who are you? He said, I am the light. Let's enjoy that brand new light. Hmm. In this season of Easter, we remember that for every beginning, there is an ending. But in every ending, there is also a beginning. And so we know that the one we call the light of the world grew to be a man. 
and that he died on a cross, which is very sad. But then his friends discovered that everything had changed. So let's get ready for our story to find out what happens next. We tell this story on that first Sunday or first week of Easter. And we are reminded that Easter is such a great mystery, we can't keep it into just one week. And it goes on for six more weeks, all the way to Pentecost, which is another mystery. But we are here in this season of Easter when everything has changed. It is a time of great celebration. But it starts in the midst of sadness. This is a tomb. It's a special place for the dead. After Jesus died on the cross, one of his friends, Joseph of Arimathea, had them take the body down and he placed it in a tomb. And they put a great stone across the opening to close it like a door. The next day was so quiet you could almost hear the earth breathing. And early on that first Easter morning, Mary Magdalene and some of the other women went to the tomb. They wanted to be close to Jesus, even though it was very sad. They brought with them spices to anoint the body for burial. But when they got there, the stone had been rolled away. And when they looked, they saw the tomb was empty. Jesus was gone. What could have happened, they wondered. And then they heard a voice. there was an angel who told them, don't be afraid, which is often what angels say. It can be a wee bit frightening to get a message from God. But the angel said, Christ is risen. He is not here. And he goes before you to Galilee, just as he promised. Go and tell what you have seen and heard. And so the women hurried off to tell what they had seen and heard. But Mary stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And then she heard a voice. Woman, why are you weeping? She thought it was the gardener. But then he spoke her name. 
she knew that voice. It was Jesus. Mary was so excited. And Jesus told her not to linger, but to go and tell the others. And she too hurried off to tell everyone the good news. Christ is risen. I have seen the Lord. He is risen indeed. I wonder what happened next. You might choose to pause the video to do some more wondering or to pause after each question, have some conversation with others in your household, maybe do some writing or some drawing. And when you're ready, go to the next question. I wonder what part of this story you liked best? go walking early in the morning too. I don't know if I would still go if I was going to a friend's tomb, but I do like that silence and peacefulness that is that first part of the day. I wonder what the most important part of this story is. It's good to have company when we're sad. To know that we're not alone. I wonder if there's any part of this story we could leave out and still have all the story that we need. this story is especially for you today or where you find yourself in this story. This is such a big story. I wonder what your work will be. I'm going to put the story away so that I have a little more room to do my work. And you might choose to pause the video and find some paper or crayons or something around your house that lets you be creative. You might want to make something like a tomb. Or you might talk with somebody else in your household about where are the special places and how, how do we care for people when they die for their bodies. So, there is the angel. And angels always say, 
don't be afraid. <laughs> and the risen Christ. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. And Mary Magdalene and the other women who accompanied her that morning, even though it was very sad. And the tomb and the stone you of. I'm really hoping by the time you watch this video there won't be enough snow to make snowballs. Hmm. Well I don't have much for my work today but I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So Jesus had died, but somehow he was still alive. And that is part of the mystery of Easter. That even in the endings, we know there's a beginning. And for every beginning, there's an ending. That sadness of Good Friday and that joy of Easter, and, and they are together. We can't pull them apart. So... I wonder if you've ever cut a cross out of a piece of paper. I'm going to show you a way that you can do it with one cut. I know. I didn't believe it either the first time somebody said they could do this. But it's amazing. And it's really quite simple. So you take a piece of paper and you take one of these corners and you're going to fold it down along the edge there, like that. Maybe I'll turn this this way and then you can see better. And I need to put my glasses on so I can see better. And then you're going to take this corner and fold it down to there. So it looks kind of like a hat or the beginning of a paper boat. And then you're going to fold it in half, like that. And then you're going to fold this outside edge back to the center, which is kind of like folding it in half again. So you've got, well, it's all crinkled, but it looks like that. And then I take my scissors and I'm going to make one cut right down the middle here. So let's see if we have a cross here somewhere. Oh, I have a lot of little pieces. Oh, there is an even smaller piece. We have two of those as well. And then there's Nope, these don't look like crosses either. Hmm. They're kind of odd shaped pieces. Oh, there's two of those. Let's see. Ah, maybe it's this piece. Unfold it all the way. We have a cross. Just like that. Hmm. But that's not all. Because we can take these pieces.
and we can make a word that spells life. And there again is that mystery of Easter. From death comes new life. Hmm. I wonder how God might be at work in you in the next little while or in this coming week to bring about some new life. I'll invite you to pause the video and find your materials so that you can do your work. And when you're ready, come on back. So I wonder what you found to work with this morning, or whenever it is you watch this video. I tend to think of it as the morning because we do this for Monday mornings. I wonder what new things you will discover this week. Will you be surprised like the women who went to the tomb expecting to find their dead friend and instead discovering something new and amazing had happened? Sometimes life is like that. We have our routine, our expectations of the way things should be, and then, whoa, God does something new. And it catches us off guard. And sometimes we don't even notice. We're so busy and caught up in our own lives. We need to pause and to look around. And sometimes those new things are a little bit scary. And so perhaps it is the angel's message that is for us, don't be afraid. So let's try our song one more time. I'm gonna snap and tap and give a big clap cause Jesus is alive I'm gonna blink my eyes and jump so high cause Jesus is alive I'm gonna take my hands and wave them round cause death could not keep Jesus down I'm gonna sing and shout and yell right out Jesus is alive Maybe that'll work for our prayer today. Or maybe you have something else you would like to name in prayer. I am just so thankful for our time together. It's hard to believe we've been doing this for over a year now. And yet the stories continue to unfold and we continue to wonder and to enjoy the light. And before we know it, our time together is finished. I don't have anything for my feast today. I'm still a little full from my Easter feasting. But perhaps you have a chocolate you'd like to share with someone in your household. Or perhaps you have some fruit or crackers or a glass of water. And I invite you to pause the video and take your time to enjoy a feast that is not so much about the quantity that we have to eat, but the quality of the company that we share. Welcome back. So it's time to say goodbye for another week. And so we come to that place where we remember the light that is just in this one place and time right now, but when we change it, can be in many places. And it will spread out and fill this room and find its way to wherever you are. The light of Easter. Watch what happens when I change the light. Some people miss this part. It's much easier to do now that we have a brand new candle. Didn't change yet. There is a light.
lot of light to enjoy today. Even a stone cold tomb could not contain all of this light. And so until we meet again, God bless, be well, and look after one another.